Assalamu alaikum everyone. So today we are going to discuss uh, how the genetic transformation works in plants. So for an instance, let's take a single plant sample. There are different soil bond uh, bacteria just like agrobacterium. So here the question arises that how we can insert this agrobacterium into the plant. It is basically supported by the mechanism that plant gets any wound or we can say a cut uh, which basically results in the excretion of some phenoling compounds that basically attracts these agrobacterium species. So here uh, it becomes an entry point for the agrobacterium species to enter into the plant. So now once the agrobacterium has entered the plant, it will go towards the plant cell. Uh, on the left you can see the agrobacterium cell and on the right uh, it's the plant cell. In agrobacterium cell there is basically a tDNA region which is controlling the overall function and it, it includes different number of genes like auxin, cytokinin and opine etc. And also do remember that the plant also have these auxin and cytokinin uh, inside it. So when the plant cell having tDNA from the bacteria go for the transcription it will transcribe both auxin and cytokinin which results in the overexpression of the genes so you can see uh, these diseases crown gall disease and hairy root disease these both are the examples of the overexpression of the genes so basically here comes an interesting fact that plant scientists just simply replace the tDNA region having auxin and cytokinin with their gene of interest so whenever it is transcribed in the plant cell it results in our required gene expression so this was how uh, the genetic transformation works in plants we hope this video will be helpful for you thank you so much for watching